what's up? This is Evie's review, and it's time to flip the face. There are so many things to flip in life. You can flip an election, you can flip a you can flip a flapjack, or you could flip the face. So what is flipping the face? Well, I'm glad you asked. Instead of strumming the strings with your right hand and tapping the frets with your left hand, you strum the strings with your left hand and tap the frets with your right hand. Now, fundamentally, flipping the bass is really just about turning it upside down. The first thing you'll notice when you flip the bass is that the strings are now in the reverse order. Whereas it used to be E, A, D, G, now it's G, D, A, E. This means that any music you play, you have to play it effectively in a mirror image. The top string before is now the bottom string, and the bottom string before is now the top string. Now, if you've been playing bass for a long time, this can be tremendously confusing, but I would say it's probably not nearly as confusing as trying to play with your hands reversed. So because the strings are reversed, the first intuitive thing would be to flip the strings, right? The thing is, you're going to run into some roadblocks if you do this. There are several parts of the guitar that are not symmetrical. On this guitar, the place where you wind up the strings is essentially symmetrical, so that's not going to be an issue. You'll notice that the knobs, while before they were at the bottom of the guitar, are now at the top. This can cause problems because now it might obstruct your hands plucking the strings, but if you play a little bit higher on the strings, it's probably not going to make a difference. There's a piece on this particular guitar called the saddle, now, even though the strings are laid out diagonally here, it actually is still symmetrical. It's just diagonally symmetrical. So this piece is not really going to cause a problem either way. What I discovered that makes this guitar nearly impossible to flip is this little piece up here called the nut. You'll notice if you look up close that there are little grooves in the nut. Each of these grooves is designed for a specific width string. If you flip the strings, the strings will not fit properly in the nut. And what kind of problems will that create? Well, your strings are going to make a lot of racket, they're going to jangle all over the place, and they might even have improper intonation. Now, what is intonation? So intonation, think of it this way. When you play an open G string, it makes a sound like this. Now when you play a G string on the 12th fret, it makes a sound like this. Here's what intonation is. You might have a G string that plays a perfect G note, but if your intonation's off, playing a G note an octave higher might not be a perfect G anymore. The reason for that is the stretchiness of a string can be different whether you tighten it above or below the saddle. On other guitars, the saddle might be built into this piece down here. Depending on your guitar, there will be screws to adjust down here, up here, maybe over here, it's gonna vary. Now because I'm just learning how to play the bass guitar, I don't really mind flipping the order of the strings. So where I'm at, it makes a lot more sense just to play with flipped strings than to have to redo the whole nut assembly. Now many guitarists before me have flipped the bass. We can work it out! We can work it out! Well, if Paul McCartney did it, why shouldn't I do it? So this is a really weird chain of events. I like to grind coffee fresh in the morning. After I would grind the coffee, I would tip over the coffee grinder to pour the grinds into the filter. And I was doing this every day for weeks on end. But one day, not long after I started playing the bass, I felt this weird jangly pain in my arm. The whole motion of twisting my arm was like plucking a nerve. Ugh. So my first instinct was, okay, I should be more gentle with myself. And then my next instinct was, maybe this was caused by playing bass. And then my next instinct was, why don't I just flip the bass? So there you have it. For anyone who's on the difficult journey of trying to learn a stringed instrument, there are gonna be many options for you. Whether you're left-handed, right-handed, ambidextrous, there are so many different ways to play the guitar. So many right-handed musicians play the guitar in a left-handed fashion. And many left-handed musicians play the guitar in a right-handed fashion. Now, just to be clear, the handedness of guitar playing has to do with plucking the strings. 
So if you're having a stumbling block trying to learn the bass guitar, do yourself a favor and flip the bass. This has been an episode of Evie's Review. If you like this video, go ahead and click subscribe. As always, thanks for watching, and tune in next week for Evie's Review.